Hey everybody, it is Cinnamon Cooney, your art Sherpa, and I'd like to say hi to what are the nicest, kindest, most generous people in the world. I am blown away by you guys every day, and lately, of course, a lot more. I just want you to know that stuff you've been saying has been blowing my mind, and I'm painting, like I was saying to John, on wings today. Mm -hmm. Wings. This is my husband, John. Say hi, John. Hi. <laughs> He's on the mic. He reads comments. So if you're brand new to a live event, basically what happens is he tracks me from all of our cameras. We have a bunch of cameras, so you never miss out on the painting action. And then he reads the comments. So if there's a question that comes up, he tries to see it. Now, keep in mind, the chat goes by really fast. Yeah. And so we have a bunch of moderators. We like to call them light keepers, sometimes sure pets. But basically, it's an incredible group of people that really do their best to make sure John sees the whizzing <laughs> <laughs> comments and to make sure you guys are okay. We're going to be painting this sail away painting today. Yeah. I just, I was in New York and we were doing some really cool stuff with Ryan O'Neill and this painting kind of came to me through a whole series of things. And so now it's your painting because <laughs> that's how that works out. Totally. And I'm excited about doing it today. It's not going to, it's getting really easy painting. Anyone can do it. Yeah. It's, yeah, this this is really nice. We, I watched you do this the first time around. I thought it was really good. Yeah, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to work it out. Yeah. You watch. It'll be something. So this is a really simple painting, simple materials. I have acrylic brushes here. I have a 12 bright, a 10 bright, also known as Goldilocks, a 6 bright, a 4 bright, and a detail. So that's what I'm going to be using on this. These are simply Simmons extra firm filament brushes or some information in the description below about these but what i'll say about your acrylic brushes is try to make sure that the bristles are firm so that they would be uncomfortable as a makeup brush but not stiff enough to take paint off your car somewhere in that balancing <laughs> <laughs> materials okay we over to oh <laughs> Nope. All right, Hold on. materials are really simple today sorry about having the red um oxide on there we have a default um, upload and sometimes I I don't read well and leave extra colors in. So this is the actual <laughs> materials for the day. All right, is thalo blue? Yeah, which I'm sure on this palette looks a lot like the dogs in purple. It's you can see the difference. They're they're close, but you can see the blue the blue and the purple difference there. Yeah, cadmium red medium, uh, cadmium yellow medium, quinacridone uh, magenta, also known by John as Passamaquoddy pink. Yes. Titanium white, and I have. I'm using today golden uh, retarder. It this uh, it works. It increases the working time. What's considered the open time of paint. So like how long it is before it dries. I'm finding I need this more and more in my studio, because it's hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> and so my stuff is drying on me really quickly. But it does actually aid in the flow of your paint. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me about glazing medium. It's not the same thing, by any means. But it does do some similar stuff including aid in the flow of your paint. But gotcha. it really, really ups the transparency. So just keep those things in mind. Also today I'm using Folk Art Acrylic Black. Ah. Because I'm out of soft bodied other paint. Mm. <laughs> and this is this is what I mean by like, you just can't take it too serious. Let's put this beautiful, gorgeous sunset painting over on the easel. So I remember what I'm doing. Put my brushes down. And we've got some wishes on the canvas today. Oh, I, yeah. I have the wishes that you guys have been putting out on the internet up here, secretly up here. But I also have a very special wish from Jody. If you guys could all send some love and energy to Jody, you know, she struggles with pain relief and then she also tends to feel a little disconnected. And so she's just wanting to feel connected to her art community here. I think that's. I think that's something we all do. So, like, I'm going to add to that wish that I wrote up here that we all feel more connected to each other. Yeah, that's a really good one. I think connection is an underrated thing. They really, really love to sell us a big screen TV, but they don't really sell us connection to each other, which actually does increase happiness. Yeah. So I definitely want to see you guys have happiness. Do we see any wishes coming up in the chat? Oh, we that do. That we want to throw at least one up there. I, I was just saying, oh yeah, so the, the uh, Mona was wishing for the, the, th the thunderstorms go away and go head the other direction. So, All right, I'm, 
I'm going to wish there's, for good weather for our community members, wherever they are, good and safe weather. Absolutely. I was going to say, there's a lot of people who have some, some bad weather over them right now. I know Houston's just getting past some. And uh, so for all those out there who have uh, some, some big storms, definitely I, hugs. And I have a special wish for the little brushes. I hope we have some little brushes in the audience today. You know what I wish you guys? The most epic, epic summer ever. Because that's really what you want from summer, right? Yes. You want Phineas and Ferb summer? Yes. So I'm wishing that for you guys. An epic summer for all the little brushes everywhere. Um, you're going to be seeing more and more kids videos on our channel. And also remember my good friend Angela Anderson started a free kids thing this whole week. Mm-hmm of these amazing kid projects. So you're going to see kid projects on my channel. You're going to find kid projects there. That's free. I don't know if you guys checked the cost of summer camp recently, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my kids aren't going. I don't know about your kids, but my kids can't go. So we're summer camping at home <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm sharing some of those goodies with you. Like you do. Like you do. Are we ready to paint the sucker in? we are. Let's get started. So what do you got over the, huh? Okay. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So you guys at home, if you're very first time painters, this is what I want you guys to realize. I'm going to show you every step of this painting. If you just follow along with me, you're going to get this painting. It really is that simple. And remember, your painting is not supposed to be my painting. It's supposed to be your painting. So you should have a sunset with a sailboat, but it shouldn't be a carbon copy of mine. So just keep that in mind when you're setting your expectations. Because mm -hmm. I think that's probably one of the biggest things that messes with new artists is thinking that it's supposed to look like everybody else is around them. And it's not, it's supposed to look like your painting. Yeah. That's the whole magic of art. Yeah. So, there's, there's, yeah. A, there's, there's, a, there's another wish that they're, they're putting a lot of pressure on me to, oh, to okay. put up here. I have time. They, they would like for you to be on the Ellen show. And there's a whole lot of people who are really requesting that you put that on there. You guys are, you guys have touched my heart so much with this. I have to tell you, you make being on YouTube amazing. And I will just do anything for you. Art so, Sherpa on the Ellen Show. So thank you guys. That's. You know, I really, we really appreciate all the wonderful things you guys have been saying, and you know, it's, yeah, uh, it's just how much you guys have uh, have said and the kind words. We just really appreciate it. So it's a price above rubies. I don't yeah. know if any of you know that quote, but it has been for me. Just the kindness that you have. There's just no measure for it, and <sighs> makes painting for you just a joy, so just nice. truly a joy. So thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. I'm going to start this upper part of my canvas with my dogs in purple and my blue. And I'm going to take those colors down through the first third. I'm telling you this because we're going to do a cool trick with clinacridone so we can make this neat transition to the cad reds and yellows, but not end up with that crazy gray color. So I can't. I, I know you're just. You're a trying. Whole lot John's of love. trying to show me the chat, and he's going to have to read it out but loud. But there's just all these emojis of hearts that you're getting. And I can they, see the heart emoji. I need some glasses. YouTube. But, YouTube is for 13 year olds because the font is small. <laughs> <laughs> That's why YouTube but, uh, is for 30 year olds. There's a there's a lot of there's a lot of love coming for you today. That so. from my heart back to yours, totally mirrored back. I am literally. Gonna make so many videos for okay. you. I love you so much. All right. So you get purple. I'm well, getting some purple. What's the real color called? This is Dogsonin purple. Okay, it's yeah. one of my very favorite purples. And I'm pulling this from the outside edge, if you notice, because that lets me keep my little paint area kind of clean. I'm pulling a little of that retarding medium in there, also called an open medium. You know, you're just trying to extend the open time, putting a little blue in that. The very top of my sky here, I want to be the darkest of the whole painting. Yeah. So I'm just going back and forth in wide brush strokes. And, and you know, if you, you know, I'm just using this current um, additive because of my studio is so hot. But remember, water is free, comes from the tap, and also works. So. Yeah. <laughs> You know, don't don't panic if ever you don't have some particular supply. Never, never panic about that. Because it's a uh, it's there. It's so, free. 
so uh, there was a question about the quin uh, the quinacridone, yeah. the Passamaquoddy pink. So can, if you don't have it, is there a substitute? M any of the magentas will help you make this transition. Okay. What it is is we're going to need a magenta to get from these blues and purples into the yellows because, and if you've done the quest, you'll remember this, the blues and purples are on the opposite ends of the color wheel from yellow, so when they get together, they gray each other out. And I want us to have a vibrant sunset. Uh -huh. I want a sunset to be the most glorious sunset we have ever seen. <laughs> and apparently, um, live and gone with the wind. So... <laughs> Whatever floats my boat today. <laughs> I'm going to pull out a little of this beautiful phthalo blue and some of this ti uh, titanium white. Not a whole lot. I'm not trying to make a light sky of blue, but I'm just trying to lighten this up a titch. Nope. And start pulling this across here. The trick is going to be to try to get as level as you can, guys. Now, a quick question here. With the first blend. We, then we go crazy with the clouds. We were just talking about this in terms of kids. Mm -hmm. um, so... Uh, Miss Magenta walks in and says, hi, call me red. That's right. So, uh, the it, color wheel is a change in my friends. Now, it, it, so, it, so the question here relevant is, is, is John. So it has to be magenta, not red. Yes. It should be magenta and not red. So how, how is that? So, so what's the difference between magenta and red there? Well, this red here, if you look at it, is yeah. very warm and has a lot of yellow in it. So when it gets into this purple and blue, boy, it is going to gray out. But this magenta, this ma this magenta, uh -huh. when you m mix it into the blue and purple, just makes a gorgeous purple. But this magenta also, when it mixes into this red and yellow, uh -huh. makes beautiful oranges and reds creating this sort of bridge band interesting a lot of times what happens to kids is they go to mix you know red and blue and they're not getting purple or they go to mix blue and yellow and they're not getting green and that's a lot about the colors not thought the kids and they're like i know my mom said yellow and blue make green how many of you have ever felt like that on your art palette you're like yeah. i really felt like in school <laughs> they said that yellow and blue make green but this is kind of green <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like that so I'm just flat on my brush, right? Flat on my brush. Just enjoying the experience. Maybe I'll grab a little purple and a little white and come over from this side. If you'll look up here at the camera just for a second, I'm gonna push some buttons and make sure I find the right one. Cause I got the close-up camera, but I got it channeled onto a... Okay, what do you... Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is, okay, I found it. Okay. So now I know where the close-up camera is. Scratching my eye. And now, where the, now I know where the close-up camera is. I can do so that. So I'm down to about a third, right? And I've got this sort of neat thing happening here. This being the important part. This nice purple into this blue. Rinse out your brush a little bit. There's some new water practices I think we're going to start that Mark Golden turned me on to. Oh, yeah? But I'm going to do the quest first. Bye, Sherpa. <laughs> <Would you? laughs> Just picking something up. So this is the magic. I'm going to pull my magenta over into my blue a little bit. See? Add a little white to it. And I get this beautiful, insanely nice bridge color. Oh, yeah. This is a lot what happens to people when they're doing a sunset is they don't know that they need some bridge color to help them transition. Moving from one space to the next. So I've got this nice little wet band here. It's just lovely. Feel confident to come up a couple spaces into the blue some white into this and you know maybe I'm gonna pull a little of this into the sky this will be like a distant pinky sunsetty little cloud here blending it down wonderful bridge right here magenta is our friend pull a little stronger into the magenta and the white 
Aquanacridone Passamaquoddy Pink is one of my favorite colors. There's a whole series of colors, and I was so happy to get this official answer from Golden, but there are colors you cannot mix. They are made in a lab. That's how it works. <laughs> so, um, you know, sometimes there's just not a one-to-one -one exchange. Doesn't mean you can't still get the job done with something else and be just as happy, though. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, cerulean blue is not like thalo blue, but it'll get the job done. Mm -hmm. Ultramarine blue is not like thalo blue, but it'll get the job done. I'm going to just make sure that I've got kind of a little level feeling happening here. And I want to pull just a little of this. Oh, maybe a little streak of just the magenta up here. Cross. Just to make sure that it's sunsetty. I just have too much fun with that. It's just too much fun. <laughs> so I'm going to rinse out my brush. Rinse, 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 rinse. You can hear it clacking. Clacking in the cup. On meditation <laughs> videos, I definitely want us to sit there and just be like, listen to the brush clacking. Clacking in the cup. Would you like to have a little surprise? Um, sure. We have, we have two, over 250 people in here with us. They just keep coming in. And so, hi, everybody. Hi. Big hi. Art hugs to everybody. And, <gasps> and, and thanks to all. Oh, yeah. So, Flame is reminding me I need to like, comment, subscribe, share. Because those These things, things do help. help. They do help. They let YouTube know that you guys like what you see and it lets more people know here. And that's what we really want is more people in the room. See, there's now more people in the room. Hopefully, you guys are liking the notifications. I did a little email notification. See, now we have over Because I know YouTube doesn't always sometimes. Just, <laughs> YouTube. What? We just, we're now, we're over two, now we're over 260. <laughs> sometimes YouTube <laughs> notifies you guys really late. Like, I've been live for like, thank goodness I'm yeah. on live as long as I am because YouTube's like, I don't know, man. That's about At some point, we should send some notifications out to people that ask for them. A bunch of people were saying that today. <laughs> yeah. So You're just going like, what's going on, YouTube? No, I'm actually very friendly to YouTube. I'm going to take a little of my magenta now into my cad red. I might add just a smidge of white to it. And now I can bridge between these colors. Oh, there it is. Right? Look at this. And then one of the things that I like to do is you'll see me like kind of create these weird little color cloud banks. Can you see those, John? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm only taking this sky down to about, and I'll make a little mark with my pencil here. Just, if this were the halfway mark, just below the halfway mark. Just a little below the halfway mark. Having some fun. Okay. Just... What kind of pencil are you using there? Watercolor. Why? Because it vanishes into the painting, unlike your graphite pencil, which will bleed through. Okay, so um, um, and where can you get like a watercolor pencil? I got mine at Michael's uh, real cheap because I just got the Artist Loft ones. I'm not really trying to do watercolors with these pencils. I just wanted something I could sketch with. Oh, okay. That wouldn't bleed as badly. It still does a little bit, but not as badly. Hmm. All right, so now I'm going to pull into some just cad. I've got some uh, cad red here and a little yellow, and I can start bridging that in. Isn't that nice? It, it, whoop, dang it. There it goes. Huh. It's so pretty. I kept it's moving. It's so the easy. It's so pretty. When I get to the horizon line, one thing I'm going to want to do is be sure add to be as level, as level-headed as I can be. Why? Because water on the horizon will always be level. Number one problem people have with their trip photography, when they're out and they take a beautiful sunset, they go to paint it and they're like, why doesn't it look right? Because they held the camera wonky and the horizon was wonky and they just painted oh. what they saw and so their horizon is on an angle and so the picture doesn't look right. Yeah. And they're like, I can't paint. I'm like, you totally can. Photography you could work on a little bit. <laughs> they're hassling me about my button pushing. Is your button pushing good or bad today? I have. So RoboCam has been moved from three to six. And so occasionally I push the wrong button. Ah, getting used to the new um, positioning. I am. I'm going to take a little of my quinacridone into my cad yellow because I love, love, love that particular orange. I'm going to add a bunch of white to that. And add this into the space. Just a little bit. Just a create some drama because drama. drama is sometimes good 
sometimes good. Now, pulling just more and more quinacridone, and I'm going to come to my horizon line now, and I'm going to come here and just first with the quinacridone lay in as level of a line as I can. If you're really stressed about it, remember two things. You can level it back up with your water line, and you can always use tape. And if you have trouble eyeballing it in, you can also use a ruler. Yeah. You are free on your canvas. <laughs> Be free. I don't know why I'm so gone with the wind today. <laughs> I'm gone with the wind. Fabulous. I think we all need days where we're gone with the wind. Where we're just having a fabulous, fabulous day. Uh huh. Weird movie, too. <laughs> oh, pop culture. I know. I still love that he leaves her. <laughs> I don't like the sequel. <laughs> I'm like, this chick is trouble. Run. <laughs> Scarlet O'Sherpa. Yeah, there's just some things I don't like, like uh, the Pygmalion follow-up. Not a fan. I thought it was great she left Henry Higgins. He was a jerk. <laughs> Can't fix that. That guy's a jerk. <laughs> Go, Eliza. <laughs> but then sometimes sequels are good. Sometimes. I'm really hoping for the Nemo sequel to be really good. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that's the same thing as great literature. <laughs> yeah, I, I have I have a high confidence in, in Pixar. They do really good stuff. So look how beautiful we have that kind of laid in already. Yeah. And then I'm going to rinse out my brush a little bit. Rinse, 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 rinse. Rinsing my heavy brush. I, I have to, I'm looking forward to seeing the new Ghostbusters, too. I got, oh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I am remaining. I'm, I'm committed to remaining open-minded. Your optimism annoys me, <laughs> but I love you, <laughs> and I'll go with you, and I will grumpily eat the popcorn. But first of all, how do you improve on that? I, how do you improve on Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd I don't at know. all? I, I, that's what I'm trying to be open-minded about. Is right? That I'm like that was like the flyest oh. role for Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, Aliens was cool. Yeah, Avatar was cool. But that chick rocked in Ghostbusters. <laughs> I'm just saying. And yeah. also, that building was the bomb. Yeah. Like I kind of would fight for that apartment. I'd be like, I yeah. got some salt. I'm gonna fight these spirits because this is some really good real estate and at twenty five hundred dollars a square foot. Get a new refrigerator. Get a new refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> at twenty five hundred dollars a square foot, I would get a new refrigerator. That's right. right. <laughs> That's the ghost movie I want to see. Where people are like, no, I paid too much for this real estate to even put up with you. We're getting rid of you. And then like the ghost is fighting for its life. <laughs> well, well, see, that's the only reason why Ghostbusters work. We have in to the first get place. some red on our brush. Cat red, Mr. Cooney. Okay, sorry. Cat red, Mr. Cooney. I'm sorry. And we're gonna pull some of this pure cad in these little kind of spots in the sky these are layers of clouds when we do this okay when we add some of this pure cad just kind of pulling it in spots in the sky okay if you're really happy with where you are like where you got here you can leave it you're not obligated to join me and by any means but i love just adding these pops of color so what do you do I'm well, bringing if, it over here and zigzagging it down. Oh, there it is. If you don't have magenta, boy, you're doing all sorts of stuff up there. Let me come up there and look. If you don't have magenta, what can you use instead? I don't know. What do you have? <laughs> 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 now I'm down to what do you have? <laughs> I love this because like when you're in a classroom and somebody's like, I don't have magenta, you can kind of ruffle through their paint tub and be like, well, I think this primary red might work or... This other color might work. This naphthol crimson might work. But I don't know what you've got in your tub. <laughs> if I did, I'd be winning the lottery. And I would still be making YouTube videos, but it would be like from a really fly super bus. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even lie. I'd still make YouTube videos, but from a fly, fly super bus. Now I'm going to come in with some. I'm going to take some of my yellow. And I'm going to try to find a little spot of white. Right. Some of my yellow and a little spot of white, and I'm going to add some of this sunny, sunny, bright highlight to my space. Okay, so now it's it's Sherpa 30 questions. 
Sherpa 30 questions, okay? If, okay, so if you don't, what if you have red and white to make pink? Depends on well, the Well, then you have red and white to make pink, but there's a lot of pink. There's oh. a lot. All pinks are not created equal. I'll show you something and just, I don't know, can the camera really pick up the color? Because I can't yeah. What about crimson? Them. Huh? What about crimson? So crimson can run to the blue and will be a better option for you. Okay. What you're trying to do is find a red that does not... Uh, run to the warm tones. You want it to war run to the cool tones. So, so it will yellow. have more of a blue undertone. Makeup people are like, yes, I understand what you say. So I'm just trying to create some little cloudy all the way down here with this yellow little definition of these little clouds. Having a blast. Cool. Then I'm going to grab a smaller brush. Back to my weird. <laughs> I've been watching Southern Charm. If you're wondering what's happening to me, I went on a Southern Charm marathon oh, kick, followed up by that new show Preacher, and I'm having a whole moment. That's some weird. You have some weird pop culture in there. Just I'm just saying, I watch TV. I fall asleep on the sofa and have you no do. idea. But what you she's watch watching. Preacher. You were with me. I'm yeah. gonna get some just cad yellow here and I'm gonna pull it out. And my I got a little white on my brush. If you guys can see that low, that's the hot mess that I've got going. And I'm going to, over here on the left hand side, I'm going to make a little setting sun. And then sing Black Hole Sun in my head <laughs> to myself. So as not to ups upset Content ID. Huh? So as not to upset Content but ID. But you know when I was doing it, I was like, yeah. I'll sing it. Like, <laughs> so I can't paint a sun and then not sing that. Now you're leaving a lot of uh, uh, the paint mixed on the brush here? Yeah, I really allow... A, you know, the paint to kind of come together on the brush and then the canvas. Mm. And this gives me some wonderful, wonderful effects. There, I'm just wiping, like I got a little pink in there, but I don't really care because mostly I just want this to be yellow. And I'm gonna take a little of my yellow. I might need to add some blending medium here. And I'm gonna come along my horizon here, right at the edge line, right at the edge line. And just add this little bit of light. Super fun touch makes a big difference. And you can also get a little more of your white and make some of the sun, if you look here, a little brighter. Oh, that's With a cool. Little nice touch. You can even put, now that you've got that in, some more of that brighter here. Jackie Chan, those clouds. That this beautiful, this beautiful, beautiful sailing day is happening in. Where are you going? I don't know if I'm at an angle. Sometimes I get like, <laughs> I get looking at my thing and I'm like, am I in a weird tippy angle? I don't think so. Okay, let me know. <laughs> it happens. I like it. You just, you keep standing, you keep, you, you, as you're, as you're uh, going back and forth looking at it, I keep switching to the camera that's blocking the sun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. I'm going to add a little peak of blue right here in my sky. Maybe a little peak right there. And then from this side coming over, just a little bit of blue. If you look at all the really popular Pinterest sunset pictures, they have this combo. Huh. There's a formula of what we like as human beings. Is there? And everything in our little brain apparently says this is a happy day. Happy day. It does look happy. It does look happy. Every, right? Everybody really loves the color. It's just a great, yeah, it's, it's just like fun. Pulling my number 10 out, my trusty, trusty Goldilocks, trying yeah. to get all the yellow out that I can. You can switch Why brushes too. Because yellow and blue make? Green? Green. <laughs> or zombie colors? Zombie colors. Depending on... There's uh, all, I, I have I have discovered that yellow and blue make many different kinds of green. And <laughs> it's not just all so many greens. And look at this. I got yellow all over my hand. And apparently yellow goes up the brush and gets all over my hand. And it has to be wiped off. That whole army green versus ocean green. So here's a load. If you're just wondering, what does it look like on the brush when I load it up? When I pull it like this and then I come here and I pull it like this and I don't over mix it, that's about how you it looks. You can pull that up to the camera. You go straight up. Yeah, see? That one can do that neat autofocus -y thing. Isn't that great? Especially when you get it on your hand. And then <laughs> I'm going to come right under my horizon line and make as level of a water line meeting up to it as I can in this dark color combo. As I can. Oh, yeah. And make myself crazy or anything, but I'm going to do what I can do. 
And I'm going to say art high fives to the Bob Ross group. They, uh, they're on Netflix now. So oh, yeah, isn't that exciting? That's super awesome. So if you have Netflix, go check out Bob Ross on Netflix. I'll, I'll be doing that later tonight. Yeah. Get a nice thing. Now I'm going to do something crazy. Crazy, John. What's that? Because I want my sun reflection to be as bright as possible, I'm going to come and get just a little yellow. And I'm going to make this ziggy zaggy reflection. So what okay. I'm going to tell you about this reflection is the closer it is to the sun, the smaller the brush strokes are, the closer it is to you, the bigger they will get and the more open they will be. Let's give you Try to zigzag them up and don't make them go at an angle like this. You want them to be level. In water, the trick to everything that's wet and reflective is try to be as level as you can. If you're the most crazy person you know and the least level headed in your regular life here, pull it together. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Continue on being yourself in regular life, but on your painting, at least get level as much as you can. Get it together. You're an artist. Yes. <laughs> Paint level. <laughs> <laughs> Such a <laughs> random artist <laughs> bootstrap kind of comment. <laughs> you get these weird things. That's what art school is for. Get it together, people. This is art. It's not for big cry white babies. I think that was said to me once. <laughs> <laughs> Except it is, because that's what artists are. That's right. <laughs> like, I don't even know what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're crazy. So this lets me just have some very kind of bright space that I can be working on over next. Yep. Right? When I come back with like magentas or reds. Because what will happen is even the best yellow paint in the universe, made by the best company in the universe, I mean, if you look at the tube, you can see that it's a little bit translucent. So if you put it over blue, mm -hmm. it's not going to be that bright. So you've either got to paint something in back in white and then put the yellow over it, or you've got to put the yellow in before you get the other thing in. I'm just saying. That makes sense. Just saying. <laughs> I'm going to get some blue and some white and I'm going to start enjoying putting my ocean in. Now it's okay if a little of the yellow gets into my ocean because you know sea green <laughs> has a little yellow in it so it's all right. And there'll be waves that'll pick up glints of that yellow anyway yeah. right? Yeah so you're you're all good and I'm just zippering my paint into it. Get another, like, just thalo, so that's darker. The only thing that's going to be a little more challenging is when you get your purple into the yellow. Oh, yeah? So I'm going to work that? my purple, because purple and yellow are contrasts. They want to make a zombie color. Oh. If I were painting a scary sea you could with zombies, I would totally be working purple and yellow together. You know, there are sea zombies. There I are saw sea them. zombies. They're piratey zombies. That's right. I saw that movie with them in it. The ship had its own plot. <laughs> Everything had a plot. <laughs> Everything had a plot. Maps had a plot. Dude, I was just sad. That was a sad love story. That was just Calypso should have just loved him and they should have <laughs> just lived happily after it. You know what was going on there? Come on. Love is rare. Elope. Elope. So you got a great boat. Go Baby to the Caribbean. Jones, come on. See, this is what happens when you don't leave the crazy chick at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> random in our stuff. <laughs> That's totally related to art. You needed to know that. Don't comment later that well, I talk about stuff you don't need to know because you okay. needed to know that to paint. I guess this is on topic because this is boat week and we're talking about... That's right. This is underwater zombies, so it's relevant. Yeah, we're coming up on World Ocean Day. You guys follow me on Facebook or any of the social media or on the webpage. You kind of know I'm sort of going on about narwhals and whales and sea turtles right now. Got it. Hope if it clears YouTube, we got a really cool project tomorrow <laughs> coming out. Stephanie, Stephanie's is like, you know, uh, she's like, John, I've always wondered, how do you get your kids to let you do this? My toddler no, would be dude, all over this. 
Dude, bribes. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're up they're up front with popcorn right now, just waiting for their turn to come back and paint. Because you know what's out today? Zootopia. And you know what good little children get if they let mommy paint? Zootopia. <laughs> 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 also, I paint with them. Yeah. So after after this is done, we sh- they love to come in here and we kick on the black lights and they like to paint and do yeah. all sorts. Oh, of stuff. they love the black light studio. If you guys haven't seen our black light videos, our conversion because it's real cheap and you can do it from Home Depot and you've got kids. We'll probably be doing more stuff on black yeah. light stuff. It's just too fun. When yeah. Angela Anderson comes, she's gonna oh, do black yeah. light with Audie. We're black lighting it up. Yeah, yeah you can bet. <laughs> <laughs> bow, bow, dicking out. I don't know why I do that. That's so weird. I'm so weird. I'm going to zipper up this other side. Okay. Hold on. Let me come over there. That's what I'm going to do. We have this really, uh, I don't know if you've heard the music that's playing. Uh-uh. Oh, I lo- oh wait. <laughs> is that? I'm so loud for a second. You're so loud, yeah. <laughs> it's because the music's very soft. I love that. I love that. I, just, I know sometimes our community background. like either loves or is like, I don't like your music. Love you. We should stop playing that crazy, crazy music. That rock and roll. <laughs> I just thought this one was funny because it was just, you know, that kind of chipper yeah. silly. Do, do, do. I might put a little blue in there. See, I'm just kind of trying to break up this pattern. When the sun hits the water, there's all these little ripples, right? Ripple, uh-huh. ripple, ripple. And then it catches the top, and that's how that reflection comes into you. Mm. Oh, so fun. They're wanting to know if you're going to uh, use your unicorn hat. I am. um, If we get to have the AC on (laughs) or in winter. Because I love that hat. Which, by the way, as predicted, Honey came in and was like, what's this? (laughs) Yeah, I was like, (sighs) it wasn't. Like like, she felt a disturbance in the forest. She did. And she was like, there's a pink unicorn somewhere in the house. (laughs) I know Uh, it. I can feel it. And it's not mine. (laughs) I'm going to switch to my six for a second. And I'm going to get my purple and my blue and a little bit of white. And I'm going to add some of these sort of violet colors to the water. Can you guys see that? Yeah. So it's a little bit of my phthalo blue and my dog's name purple, which by the way is my favorite combo mix for like wisteria. Ooh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. If you're like, what do I... I need for wisteria. These make some of my favorite, favorite colors. And I'm just coming here and I'm leaving a lot of the blue, but I'm just trying to create some water, some texture to the <laughs> water. See, it's okay if some of it's lighter or darker because you're just trying to create that ripple. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful day, but there's gotta be enough wind for the sail to go somewhere, right? Hey, do you remember when we were, um, Sailing with Hans in oh, California. Yeah. That's so cool. Hans is so cool. When we first moved to California, my mom was really into the sailboats that had uh, rainbow sails. So I don't know if my dad ordered it or he had to make it. <laughs> 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 but we ended up with a sailboat with rainbow sails. <laughs> my mom had some pretty rough honeydews. <laughs> and uh, then my mom discovered sailing is cold and, and also wet. wet. <laughs> <laughs> But by then we had a catamaran with a rainbow sailboat that may or may not have been made by dad. So we went sailing a lot. <laughs> 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 Marriage. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> really pretty boat though. Oh yeah. So that's kind of what I'm pulling from for this painting is those memories. See how I'm still, even with adding these colors to the water, I'm keeping them level. Yeah. Trying not to let them get too angular. Fun stuff. Fun stuff if you can do it. Just adding that. I can watch you do it. You can watch me do I it? I can watch you do it. I like watching you do it. Yeah, I like watching you do stuff. I don't do it. I push buttons. You're so cool. <laughs> you don't even know how cool you are. I just push the buttons. I like pushing. I have lots of buttons now to push, <laughs> which is cool. <laughs> is and so there's a cool. lot of people here. So what I'll say is that we have a really awesome crowd. There's over 280 people here hanging out with us. You should turn around, say hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Are you doing a good job? They're you doing fun. You're taking awesome. a deep breath. Take a breath. <sighs> it's a start, not heart surgery. Nope. So don't get all 
just be like, yeah, it's just waves, and I can flow with it, and it's fine, and I'm in my house. I hope you're going to share it on social media with me. Mm -hmm. Do you want to read some of the chat? Uh, Out of So <laughs> let's see here. Uh, Janie, Janie is eating ice cream. And let's see here. Just read it. Uh I can't. It's actually going by really fast. So Artsy, uh, Art, Art, A. Rossi is. This is their first live video. Um, beginner painter, just for the first time. Hi. You having fun? I hope you're having fun. Alan thinks that you're some sort. Of, wait, welcome. Oh my gosh, it's literally it scrolls up so fast. I know. You guys are <laughs> the, you're a chatting. Group. Let me go back up here. And so uh, Angela Green just says hi. She, hi, she Angela. How are you, you guys. doing? Um, Mr. Flame is here. Uh, Hi, Mr. Flame. He just called. He's on his break. <laughs> He's checking in. So, uh, and then uh, 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 Audie says, Mona, I wish you would fly. Uh, you, uh, I wish you and Ethel would fly to the States and we could see you guys. But no, let's go. No, have you seen Mona's town? Let's yeah, all go fly to see Mona. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we grab Ethel and we're all going to go fly and see Mona. <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> And I, and I think that Alan, uh, Alan is recruiting for uh, a new breed of super Sherpettes that are going to be ninja trained. So sure, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, sure it's what's going on. It's a secret camp we're going to have. But he has something going on. Before there. you know it, though, you should know we have friends that are black ops trainers. So we could literally train There's Sherpa ninjas, like I, for reals. I see Hon Honor. I haven't seen her in a little while. Hi, Hi Honor. Honor. Hey. That's cool. it's a cool day. But there's some sort of uh, yeah they've got some sort of secret handshake doing dealing with like the the art game that they're working on. So. Art game is so awesome. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get club. some of my magenta, my Quinacto magenta. Add a little white to it because it's a slightly translucent color, but I don't want it to be pink. I still want it to be deep. Okay. And I'm gonna start taking this reflection from the bottom of the sun on my ocean. Back and forth in that gorge. Yeah. Kind of dancing around my yellow. Just having a good time. If it gets dirty because the paint's a little wet, just wipe off your brush or dry your painting. Either will work. And Anchal and her brother is painting with her. Awesome. <laughs> so there's a oh man, I'm going to butcher names, so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Especially as we we are getting some really cool places that people are, are are painting with us from. That's so awesome. I know that we have Norway and Germany and Sweden and England and Australia and New Zealand and Canada represented here already. Because just because I know some of the people we, you know, some of our our regular you crew. You talk to them for two seconds, guys. I'm gonna suggest when you're doing this reflection that you hair dry. Yeah. Uh huh. In case it's making some cray cray colors. Okay, so while you're hair drying, I'll turn you down. Oh, and I'll say, hey guys, how you doing? And our, our Dutch friends there, hi, hello from the Netherlands. So, uh, and, and Arkansas, although I do confess that that may be a country all on its own, just like Texas. So, hi guys, how you doing? Big art hugs for you guys. It's good to see you all. Nice to have you. I should say, like, comment, subscribe share all that stuff that YouTube likes you to do. Um, because that does, <laughs> Lisa's like, don't forget to tell them. So like, comment, subscribe. I know I don't say that enough, but uh, we're supposed to. And man, it's good to see you guys. There's so many of you here. Uh, please, uh, more than anything else, don't forget to share your your pictures. I love seeing all the stuff that's going up on the Facebook pages and in the Angelini group and all the other groups up there. Um, I'll twist Cinnamon's arm on trying to get uh, an art game going that we can we can go and play in here soon. Um, we've just been catching up. There's so much footage that we're shooting right now <gasps> that um, we just <laughs> we're editing. We got to drop so many videos on you guys. Yeah. So sorry. So that's a video lot of what's NATO. Going on. It's like we're just have, we're we're up to our eyeballs and unedited videos. <laughs> but there there are going to be lots of them coming though. So it's like being up to your eyes in Martians. Mm -hmm. That just went right to that cartoon in my head. I'm going to grab some more magenta and finish this out. Because now that it's dry, I should be able to get some more of these bright popping pinks. Which is important to me. I'm going to take this out into the water a little bit. A mm. couple places. Nicole is asking where the best place to share is. Okay, so each place has its own flavor, is what I'll say. Oh, I can ask yes. that question a lot. 
um, the Facebook pages. There's the Heart Party Facebook page. And that's just sort of this general shout out. You guys share stuff, sales, talk to each other. I sometimes share your artwork there. I announce upcoming stuff or comment. And then there's um, also there's Twitter, mm -hmm. right? And it's kind of fun. And I like to get in Twitter and like stuff and reshare it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a light sharing vibe. And that's sort of like, you know, to your community. But I like to kind of post along. Instagram is pretty active. Yep. And that's been sort of interesting to see people share on Instagram because they get a lot of awareness outside of their space. I've mm -hmm. been noticing that. And then, of course, on our web page. Yep. And so... Which is just, if you don't want no one in your family or friends to see what you're doing, you know, web page. And then there's also a group called Angeluni that my friend Angela Anderson and I started. And a lot of people, we, she and I collab together pretty regularly. And so, but... Every, you know, it's really y'all's. <laughs> it's y'all's group. <laughs> we just, we're just allowed in it. <laughs> I'm just adding some dancing pink. <laughs> just to my ocean. Just some dancing, dancing pink. I'm going to come get some yellow and some quinacridone. Now, which blue is it you're using there? Thalo. Thalo blue. And some white. Okay. The yellow, just so it's very bright. And I'm going to add some of this cool sort of orange color here. And it's like a little peach. We have a list of all those materials in the description below? Yes. In the description below, if you click that more button, YouTube likes to hide it, but I write like books down there. Just a little bit of this color out into the water. Rinse, 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 rinse. And I'm going to get some red now. No. Just red. It's crazy. Look at me go. Red. Okay. If you say so, I'm going to let you get have some red. red. And I'm dancing that along the water. I like some red, sometimes some yellow to my red. It is so fun. They'd like to do another black light soon. I'd like to do another black light soon. I've been missing black light. It's so much fun. I do it with the kids. We, it, we'll have to ad hoc a black light some night. We just toss it in there. You know? Yeah, just something fun. Yeah. I know I owe a butterfly. Yeah. I'm also thinking when I finally do do a zombie, it's going to have to be in black light. That could be, yeah. That could get, just, we could get, we could definitely have some fun with that. I'm touching around, just not like a crazy amount, but just a little of this red out into the water. Right? Yeah. Just simple stuff. Now listen, I rinse my brush out. Rinse, 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 rinse. And I'm going to wipe them off and put them to the side because I'm trying not to pop all the handles off all my brushes. Because <laughs> that's what happens if you just leave them in water is you pop the handles off. And I'm going to get my number four... This is what happens okay, so ghost <laughs> when has you leave them in. Look, <laughs> <laughs> that's the consequence. So ghost has. Still uh, using it though. She she doesn't make very many recommendations, but I, when she does, are really good. And I would say Unicorn Galaxy Sherpa After Dark. Unicorn is, Galaxy Sherpa After Dark. Yeah, I think that's a good call. That's a very good one. Not in black light, guys. I'm pondering a design of a narwhal with an aurora borealis coming up out of a. But like the ocean. Yeah, I saw the, the draw. That, that was really good. I like it. I'm thinking that. Um, it'll be like on that campfire. It'll be similar to the campfire. I just like doing that campfire. I just like doing spacing. Um, working on a narwhal. Yeah. And then I'm working on some sea turtle silhouettes where they're reflected under the ocean. And I'm just kind of trying to design it out where it's like maybe for one of our meditations where it's like a couple like turtles to get. I don't like painting alone turtles because I'm like paint something alone. And I don't know, together Sorry. in the reflection. And I like the idea of space unicorn. Yes. Space galaxy unicorn. Space galaxy unicorn. Done. All right. Throwing out some of this folk art acrylic. <laughs> Not that archival, but whatever. Out of my fluid paint. <laughs> so basically, I like to use a soft bodied paint for these silhouettes. It's my favorite. So my trick is I'm going to decide that my boat's going to live here. I want it to be kind of in this space. It'll go a little bit into the thing. And it's maybe, maybe, oh gosh, uh, four fingers from my horizon. So I'll put a little mark there. Yeah. You can chalk yours in first. You don't have to like be like crazy like me and freehand it. But generally when I do a boat, I've got my little straight line. Yeah. Because. Straight line, straight line, straight line. Yep. And this whole thing is about, what do you think that is, John? Eight inches? 
Hmm, hard to say. Hard yeah. to say. He's like, don't make me the eyeball measuring king. Do you have a ruler? <laughs> no. That's what I was like. What do you think? <laughs> I have to find you one of those. You had you had several. Now I'm gonna come here at an angle down about an inch, and then I'm gonna come oh. at a steeper angle, maybe about an inch and a half, and then I'm gonna paint this bottom part here okay. level. Nicole would like to ask for you to have a sippy sippy break. I have no sippy sippy. Nicole. You have no sippy sippy, Nicole. Well, to all of those. So, so John can read comments. <laughs> well, well, to all of those who are on a boat. We're painting to you. We're painting for you. That's or if right. you wish you were on a boat away from your lives and jobs and worries, that this is your boat. You might be out there in your flippy floppies. I love the galleries you guys are building. Yes. <laughs> Excuse me, I lost my brush handle. <laughs> Don't leave your brushes in water. <laughs> Where'd you go? We lost the Sherpa. <laughs> I know, I need to glue it on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just painting that in. It's about an inch wide. Isn't that nice? Thank you for thinking of me, Nicole. We'll have to, we don't have. We'll have to get some, uh, you know, coffee after this. I'm yeah, I need coffee. to get some coffee, but I did a smoothie. I'm trying to, you know, make some healthy you life making choices. Making those health life choice. Healthy life choices, and I made some. I made some uh, smoothie, and then had my smoothie before I came on, and just didn't get coffee. So see, we've got a nice... You were coffee deprived a bit. Coffee deprived a bit. Now, a neat thing that you can do is a little bit of this black and do just a little kind of implied shadow in the water, too. Hmm, interesting. I didn't do it in the first one, but I realized it needed it. Okay, they're asking me to zoom in on the shape of the boat here. So I'll have you... Just make sure your boat is level. Yeah. Can, let's see here. I'm going to go over with RoboCam in just a second. I'm going to look at here, the... Yeah, it's basically like... Well, see, I can do this other interesting okay. thing where I can, with RoboCam, I can just pan right over here. Can you? And look, there's a whole other boat right next to you that I can show them. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Let me go over there and look. See, look. I always try to put Four. the finished painting, a link to the finished painting in the description. There, it's what the Because it does make it easier for you guys to paint it if you've got a, a finished link in the description. Yeah. So there you can see with the boat. That I'll pull back over there just a second. So there you go. There's the there's the boat we're working on. So I'm going to come over towards closer to the back of the boat, not quite the middle, but almost the middle. And I'm going to just make a straight line, as straight as I can make it, just going up almost, almost to the top, almost to the top. Way up there, yeah. Yeah. I love tall sails. This brush. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. You gotta check these things before I pull them into the show. And I'm gonna take the sail. The sail isn't gonna go past the um, front of the boat. Okay. Because where would it tie? Um, well, I mean, they can, but this I one is not. Know. It's gonna be the length of the boat. Hmm. I'm just gonna paint that all in black. I've got a little bit of a little mast here showing. Better hide your mast. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> My boat is unmanned. We're gonna ignore that. <laughs> well, there's there's definitely some. <laughs> there's not ideas. some legs here. There's not somebody sleeping. There's not like a little arm in the water. <laughs> Well, see, Ghost is, Ghost is like, I'm adding a Kraken. And then Flame was like, yes, definitely tentacles. Okay. <laughs> so. Have fun. <laughs> we ha Feeding so, your Krakens. So, so we, we definitely have. Uh, yeah, I love our group. They're like, we'll paint the scream. Could you put the doctor in that? <laughs> <laughs> Death Star, maybe. Actually, I was like, I might at the end of the scream add the Death Star. Your optional sci-fi. The optional sci-fi choice. I'm just enjoying painting in this nice, nice, nice space. Now I might... When I get through this and it's dry, show everybody how I'd fix a mistake. 
Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there. Th- everyone is actually asking. Next time we uh, we need to schedule to do a, an art game when we do a painting. They're wanting to play. Art game again? Mm-hmm. Did I just get paint all over my face? I don't know. <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> How did you get it all over your hand like that? <laughs> you know me and Mom. We wear more of the painting than we get on the canvas. It's a family tradition. Oh, sure. Just enjoying painting in my little silhouette ship. Just enjoying that. If you have a very thin black paint, it may take two coats. And if you're using a craft or student paint and you go to varnish, spray varnish, don't brush varnish. Mm -hmm. Because brush varnish, for whatever reason, is smearing on a percentage of you guys. I don't even know what it is. On some of the student grade paints, the economy paints, and on some of the craft paints, when you go to do the brush varnish, it's smearing. So, spray varnish. Spray varnish. And if you guys want a matte finish, remember, do your two coats of gloss and then finish matte. Two coats of gloss, finish matte. Because Mm. matte is slightly cloudy. It seems imperceptible, but it's there. And if you keep doing coats of matte, you're actually clouding your painting. And you're not going to get it back. So you do gloss, matte. My little soapbox is done. (laughs) We'll put the second sail on. All right, hold on just a second. I'm going to flip something on the mic real quick. Okay. I will show tentacles. All right. We'll go live after this for a just that live, not even to be left up. All right, we're back up here. We're back up here. I got everybody hearing you right now. Say that. So you heard them, guys. After the show, what we'll do is we'll cut over and we'll do we'll throw up another live. I'll get a cup of coffee. We'll get a cup of coffee and then we'll 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 throw up another little quick live for just. John's got to pull some tentacles offline for me. (laughs) So you guys can have some tentacles. Yeah. You want tentacles? You guys get tentacles. You get what you want. So I'm going to stop. <laughs> Couple inches from the top. I'm like the most gangster art teacher for my art students. You do not even want to be a company writing me. Like, would you show yourself? I'm like, what are you going to give my people? <laughs> I don't even, what are you going to do for them? What? <laughs> if they're like, tentacles. We want tentacles. Yeah, you get it. If you want tentacles, you get tentacles. All right, so there's lots of woohooing for tentacles. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this. This is a smaller, so I'm going to take it out a couple inches to the right. And I'm going to join these two lines. This is an acute triangle for you little brushes at home, and it's what acute triangles are actually for. All that geometry is just for drawing. Oh, and making sails. And making sails. That's what all your geometry is actually for. The rest of it's just crazy nonsense. <laughs> Don't be obtuse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you tell we have 11 year old children in the house? <laughs> Did you, last night, my daughter found some voice modulator on her <laughs> DS and she left a bunch of messages for her little sister. So I hear this cackling, this crazy cackling coming from the back bedroom. It's the most insane cackling I've ever heard coming from the kids in my life. And I go back there, and Luna is just playing her cr- sister's voice messages with the voice modulation over, over and over yeah. and over again, and then laughing her head off. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right. So I've got a basic boat here. That's a boat. It's a basic boat. This boat is so basic. There could be mermaids in the water. There oh could be all God. sorts of things in there. Yeah, you could put a little mermaid tail up, a little crack in arms. It could be a whole thing. Mm-hmm. This could it could be a very dangerous ocean. Could be, it could be, it could but right now I'm going to add some happy flags. You know what? The kraken just be, could be cuddling. It could be a snuggly crack. You know what I would say is y'all want to make your ocean dangerous, and I respect that, but dude. <laughs> now, you, now they. I'm just painting a happy little flag coming off here. Now they've asked. You've not attached your uh, mat, your your sails to the same mast. No, they're on their own. They're on two mast. different masts. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm not saying that's nautically accurate. I'm saying it's real pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if if it is something that you're like, that's not nautically accurate. Go ahead and fix it. You could you could do the single mass thing. Man, now YouTube is gonna have all these opinions. Maybe you'll you get guys don't even know because seriously, if you get a cherry tree wrong, you're gonna hear from people for like weeks. I'm sure I'm gonna be like, you're masked. That's probably where the thumbs down has come from. Probably you mass things. You don't want to upset train people or boat people or cherry tree people. Arborists, train people, boat people. They'll Thank tell you. you. All right. So we're gonna hear. <laughs> we're gonna hear rough. But we like the, they like the flags. I like the flags. That's how you claim something. That's right. So just happy little flags. Now, if I really, really had messed up, if I'd done something I really didn't like, how would I fix that? Well, I need to go paint it out and then kind of put the paint back, right, that I was uh, taking out. So I'm going to just pretend something is bothering me. Oh, here's something I could do. I could paint out that mast and attach the flag. How's that? Okay. I need to dry it first. Okay, hold on. Okay, so she's gonna dry. Dry, dry, dry. So yeah, after this, after this is over, what we'll do is, um, I will spin down the broadcaster, get it all set up for another broadcast, have it posted up there, and we'll get cinnamon cup of coffee, and we'll come back up and we'll we'll do some fun sci-fi fantasy bits on here that we'll I card and let you guys see. So. You'll only get to see the Kraken video if you are watching this and catch it in the iCard. So yep. It, it, Not it's a, for public consumption. It's a secret video that you only get to by coming to this video. <laughs> so take your white and phthalo and just come here and paint right over it. Just paint it out. Whenever your paint is dry, whatever mistake you made is then removable. Huh. Right? So... You know, you guys have pointed out to me that I uh, have a sail here that needs to be corrected. I think I can do that. I'm thinking back. I'm thinking back. <laughs> and so I'm going to attach it here with the curve. Because I think I remember what you guys are saying. Normally I would recommend that you, at this stage, get your smartphone out. And uh, <laughs> look it up. But I'm going to just... <laughs> work it out because I'm just showing you how I would if I like realized all of a sudden that it wasn't how it wanted to be or if I had a client who was like a boat person who was like you got I can't tell you how many times like I've had somebody come in to buy a painting and there was something that for whatever they were doing in their lives the painting didn't feel accurate or authentic or true to them or they've had me paint sections of my painting out and people have no problem you're like the artist and they're like can you make those orange flowers pink <laughs> <laughs> the best one, though, is when it's like, they're like, you can't have the cables there because it's not OSHA compliant. Oh, that was a rough, that was a very <laughs> rough commission. I'll tell you that right now. Those are great. That was rough. I had to repaint a lot of stuff for them. That's when I learned that certain commissions are not my friend. That was a great company, though. Yeah. All right. So now we have that. See that? Now it's attached to one mast. Now you got That's it. how I fixed that. You fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. It did, 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 did it. But we're not done. You we're think not. we're done and ready to go to Kraken, but you're not. Because I'm going to get some white and blue. And I'm going to come in here and make some lighter waves through here. See that? That lighter wave happening here. Yeah. Because that needed some lightening up. And now I'm going to take my blue and a little bit of my white. And I'm going to come out from my ship a little bit. Let's see if I can get down there and zoom in on that a little bit. See that? Hold on. A little coming out from my ship a little bit. I'm going to get some just white. And I'm going to, I don't know, flick some little water up there and... Tell the story of a little bit of a little waves coming off. How's that sound? Yeah. Fun? Yeah. Yeah. All right. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. 
I think I've got to paint out that cloud and that thing. So you're seeing a lot of correction here. <laughs> so you get a couple things in there. And some, well, because I moved the sail. Yeah, this right? is cool. So I'm just taking out this. And I'll just add a little bit of purple cloud in. Eraser. This is how you do it when you're painting on the fly. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it just ends up even being better. Happy accidents. That's what the guy was talking about. Like, you guys don't even, you're like, oh, that's better than what I originally did. <laughs> <laughs> now it's perfect. Ready for the Kraken. So, meet us back in a few. I'll get some coffee and some fresh water and some Kraken images. Some Kraken images you're going to work on doing that? I'm going to get some crack. I got to decide what, like, how I want to do my Kraken. Like, if I want it to be, like, greenish tentacles or something so that it pops in the painting. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I'm going to miss my paint so I don't have to put out new because that's okay. expensive. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna and we're gonna do a little bit of coffee, coffeeing up, coffee, 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 coffee. And we, yeah, and we'll be, we'll we're see. Back. And, and yeah, for those of you guys who are who are watching this, you can check us out at the at the next one. And for everybody else, we love you guys. If you want to crack in and some other weird stuff, I guess we'll do that here. Yeah. And if you're happy, please just share on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or somewhere, and subscribe and like, comment, and share, and tell everybody how awesome it is to paint. Yeah. Because I think, I think it is pretty awesome that you guys are painting. And I just, gosh, I just appreciate you a lot. Thus the crack lesson. <laughs> See you at these, like, really, really soon. Love some you of guys. you. Some of you later, but some of you really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Come join us live Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 11 a.m. Central or enjoy one of the hundreds of paintings available on replay anytime 24-7.